Hey guys, what's up? It's Alexandra and um I was just basically trying to make a quick video about this. Um a video was being basically made, a video was made by this blog channel. And um basically it talked about Young Miami having depression. I'm sorry, Young Miami says she's having a mental breakdown. And um I was reading the comments. Everybody's saying, oh, diddy, 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 diddy. And um, it could be a lot of things that could be happening with her. You know, she's an artist and she lost her baby father. That was her best friend. Um, they said she had said. And also, you know, she is dealing with Diddy. Um, but let me tell you something. I really do honestly believe that, 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 it's, with, that it's Diddy. And let me tell you why because just how this person just said they are they are not broken up no young miami is at the devaluation stage of her relationship with diddy well first and foremost they are not together but i do agree that she is in the devaluation stage she was always in the devaluation stage meaning no honestly she always she was basically at the stage she wasn't always at the devaluation stage she was basically you know um getting attention and how do i put it because it, she was always in the devaluation stage because he never valued her he only saw her as you know um a, a pretty girl that he can sleep with and um that's basically the only thing that he he saw her as and um you know it was all cute and fun and games for the world to sit up there and promote you know and say oh yeah diddy you know he esteems her and oh he really cares about her and he supports her show and he gave her a show and he did this he did that but it's like this is the ignorance and the sadness about people in society today people really honestly do not see their materialistic things and um you know, uh, they don't know the difference between true support when it comes from love and support when it comes from pimping, basically. A person that basically is using you. You know what I'm saying? Um, young, Miami, young Miami is being used. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I don't know where she is now because I saw pictures of her in Paris or something like that on another site and I saw a hand touching her butt so I don't know who she with or whatever I don't know but um that could be old that could be new I don't know but all I know is that the other day when they were like oh she was with Quavo at the festival and she was twerking on Quavo because Diddy got caught with that girl and I was talking about that girl Jessie Mae on my page and um basically you know she was twerking no, uh, the girl Jesse May um was caught with Diddy on a yacht with his friends, with his you know rich friends, and Young Miami um you know basically later on like shortly after was at the festival twerking on um Quavo. Now Young Miami when she was like in the beginning dealing with Diddy, I remember she was on stage and JT was like you know they were um singing they were rapping Kitty Talk, but it's Pussy Talk English, Spanish, and French. So, um, JT was like, oh, oh, Carisha, what's your pussy talk? And she was like, billionaire dick or whatever. So she started talking to, that's when she had started dealing with Diddy. And, you know, basically she was letting people know that she got a billionaire. And then she was like, you know, dress more conservative. And it's like, you know, even Santana was like, oh, she, you know, he never heard Carisha on the phone. Like, you know, speak like hey babe like she never he never seen Carisha just like kind of change and act a certain kind of way and then all of a sudden we later on found out like publicly oh she's dealing with Diddy but the thing is is that but the thing is is that from the beginning and then you saw young Miami popping at um a uh, girls you start you started to see her popping at Joy Bow Wow's baby mom you know, like stalking her, dressing up as Bow Wow's baby mom for Halloween because she was dealing with Diddy. Like, Carisha was just basically trying to get rid of every girl that was dealing with Diddy. And um, the girl Gina, when she posted pics of Diddy, um, you know, um, uh, she was basically, she popped at um, Gina and was like, oh, um, you want attention so bad. And everybody was blaming Gina and was going off on Gina when Young Miami was the one who popped at Gina. Um, 
And so basically everybody was glorifying this Diddy Young Miami relationship. And I was like, wow, how sad. That's the, the Diddy relationship is exactly when I stopped messing with the city girls. That's exactly when I used to love the city girls. Everybody knows on my page, I stayed repping the city girls because they're from Miami. Like I am from Miami. I loved the city girls. Keyword loved. But what they represent and what they do and their attitude, like JT's attitude, when I when I came to get to know her attitude, like how she talks crazy. The, let me tell you something. Fame, it does not mean happiness. And a lot of people was just talking about, oh, you know, they would compare her to Gina and say, oh, Gina's a nobody. JT even said that, oh, um, you know, Carisha basically is better because he got her a, a show on Revolt. And, oh, he gave her an allowance and blase, blase. And people really, really basically was saying, oh, he likes her and, oh, he wants to um be with her and she's what he needs and she's this that and the third like people were really living in fairy tale la la land and i'm like are y'all dumb like are you dumb you do, do you see this man's pattern with women do you see how bad he broke gina how basically he's been with this girl for eight years and she made her get two abortions coldly heartlessly do you see how he carried cassie along for 10 years and basically made him made made them feel like made her made basically all the girls he's with he's been with made them feel like as high as you know the sun and the moon but also made them feel as low as can be and finally cassie left and was like you know he's not like you know gonna change and she got married and she had kids um afterwards and um you know, um, she left him. Kim Porter, same thing. Like, she talked about things that she went through with Diddy before she died. She went through a lot of things with Diddy. And, you know, Kim Porter ended up not being with him before she died. And, you know, it's like Diddy does not appreciate women and does not appreciate nobody but himself. He's a, a I don't want, I'm not no doctor. I don't want to say he's a narcissist, but, um, he definitely is a very egotistical person, I'll say. And he cares about nobody but himself. He's very selfish and he's self-absorbed. And he don't care about nobody but himself. And he feel, he thinks he's God. He has a God complex. And so um, he he feel, he has the... He's been that way since making of the band. Like, he got... he He's ruined every single business relationship he's had with people that he created himself. Like, Danny D. Kane was a big pop girl group. And because of his ego, you know, he broke up the group. He fired Aubrey, he fired D. Woods, all because of his ego. He wanted to prove that he's the boss and he ruined making it a band. Like he ruins relationships and he basically, he's known for being the, the person that you don't want a record deal with because he is not somebody that is reliable, nor is he somebody that really cares about you, nor is somebody that's going to have your back. You know, he's definitely all for himself. And if you're going to make him a coin make him a coin but if he doesn't want to like but he's not going to reciprocate that same loyalty he's not going to um make sure that you straight like no matter what you know you basically have a you're in a relationship business relationship or a love relationship with him that only benefits him he's all about himself and um when it came down to also when it came down to also um um when it came down to also, uh, let me see, uh, who else? He, um, yeah, basically, you know, he's a very self-absorbed, I'm for myself type person. And he basically loves money and money rules his world. Cash rules his world. Let me tell you something. For everybody that was promoting this Diddy Carisha relationship and was like, oh, you know, that's so cute. They thought it was cute and they was going after Gina and they was bashing Gina as if she's not a victim of his self-absorbedness, as as if she's not a victim of his, you know, um, manipulation, um, as if he's not abusive. Like Diddy is abusive. He's a mental abuser. He is uh, emotionally abusive and he's physically abusive. And I already know, even if I have, I have never seen him, you know, um, be, beat a woman. I know that I've heard Gina speak about it. And I remember Cassie, that she had the authorities called on him one time when they were in a relationship. And I feel like, honestly, Carisha, when she's twerked on Quavo and it came out that, oh, she's getting back at Diddy or whatever the case may be. I think that um, that wasn't even the beginning of her demise. I feel like 
Diddy, the way he makes her feel, like people were bragging on how he gave her a show and how she's better and how he likes her. It's like, are you kidding me, bro? This 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 dude was literally pimping young Miami. He don't care nothing about her. Like he literally gave her a show because her personality, young Miami is a star. Her personality is elite young miami don't never have to know how to rap she knows how to rap but she don't ever have to know how to rap because she has a personality so he t he saw that star power in her and her star quality and he decided to use that and capitalize off of it by giving her a show on revolt tv okay so he's basically pimping her talent and you and 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 making checks off of her then he gets the luxury to sleep with her and he's leading her on to believe that they are going to be something that they're not whispering sweet nothings in her ear, whispering all of these, you know, um, you know, um, supposed to be uh, dreams and illusions that he's going to, you know, take us serious. And every I remember one time he was on his live and he was upset. It, it looked like they was arguing and he was like, you know, just basically yelling out like everything's going to happen in its own time. Can nobody force me to do, do force me to do what I don't want to do. At that time, young Miami was pressing Diddy for a relationship. The same thing happened with Cassie. Cassie basically wrote the official girl song was about Diddy. She basically is talking about how she wants to be somebody's official girl and she's been dealing with him, but he don't want to claim her. And. He had a lot of women and she wanted to be the official one. He, he, she wanted to be his girl. And um, if you watch the video, the dude that she's dealing with is a very high power executive. Like if you notice the video, there's an office and, you know, and even in the beginning, when you listen to um, the beginning of the video, you hear mumbling. It's, it's a lot of mumbling. And that's Diddy. Like you can hear it's like they took a recording of his voice and they sped it up. And, and basically the mumbling you hear, like as if someone's talking, but in really, really fast, you speed up, that's Diddy. And so I, I'm a really smart girl. So I knew, you know, Cassie was begging Diddy basically to make her his girl. You should never have to do that as a woman. If Cassie, as beautiful as she is, got played by Diddy, what makes y'all think Carisha wasn't going to get played by um Diddy? He don't care about nobody. People think that an ass and clout and being pretty and being young Miami, a city girl, it was going to lock Diddy down. Are you serious? No, that man never gave a damn about Carisha and it's like this is this is the worst part this is the worst part about it this is why she's going through this if she was going she going through this I think most likely she's going through this because of how embarrassed how she, basically Diddy has embarrassed her time and time again people have she he's put egg on her face time and time again from the beginning Diddy always 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 would walk behind you no know, walk in front of Carisha and Carisha would always have to walk all the way in the back of him so that they won't get caught together so that people won't think they're together that's basically devaluing someone that's basically telling the person you're not worthy of me you're you're nothing you're an object you know you're not my girl you're just a girl that i'm sleeping with you're nothing stay behind me do not come up and act like you know um you know you 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 are my girl because you don't matter i'm just using you that's pretty much devaluing someone from the beginning is what i was saying like you know earlier um when they left hotel, when they would leave hotels, it would never be together. Diddy would come out the hotel first, and in Young Miami, you would see picture coming out the hotel right after. And her head was down, and she was sad, and you can see her sadness. And I would be so sad as a woman if I was basically, you know, um, sleep, sleeping with a man for this long, and with, and I'm with him. And it's like when a woman gives up her body, when we give up our bodies, we're very attached, and we become very, very, you know, um, emotionally attached to that person, and. For him to just treat me like I'm nothing, like I'm some piece of meat, and he don't even want to leave the hotel with me or anything, like he don't want to claim me or do anything with me, that's so sad, and that would hurt my heart. It don't matter what y'all say, oh, she a city girl, she know what it is, she's not dumb. Young Miami caught feelings. Any woman, she's not a city girl, she is a human being. She's not above catching feelings. She's not the girl that pretty much is like, oh, yeah, you know, I don't, I'm don't, i not going to catch no feelings. And, and, you know, I, I basically, you know, um, am smarter than him and I'm going to use him. No, when you, once you give up your body parts as a woman, you may think you a city girl and you may have city girl tendencies. But at the end of the day, you're a human being and everyone wants to be loved. Everyone wants to be loved. And when you, for example, give up your body parts, you start to really catch feelings. And for him to treat her like she's absolutely nothing. That would make anybody be on a ledge. I would be on a ledge if I was her because not because okay after the hotel incident the old go poppy sign that was so humiliating like the whole world he had the whole world clown her and did not even defend her 
days later he posted her poster or whatever the case may be because she made him do that and then he deleted it only for him to delete it his his page is not up no more that man sat up sat up there and played in her face and said cassie's name instead of her he played in her face he don't care he don't give a damn about her he don't care about her he's scum diddy is scum he don't care about her and um i and and jesse Wu basically you know was saying damn this, this man went through all the women in his life and he you know acknowledged his ex and not even Carisha the new you know the new woman that's supposed to be in his life and people were making excuses and I was like oh he it's a lifetime achievement award and you know she wasn't in his life before see that's the stupidity of people y'all trying to make excuses for the clear embarrassment and the clear rejection that she just experienced it don't matter if she was one minute new in his life if she's walking around and screwing this man and that's the new woman in his life even if it's a lifetime achievement award if he saw that banner and being that he's sleeping with her and being that that's his new boo and they and they got a show and you know he was on the show and you know they was you know he was basically like on the show finessing and stuff like that if everybody know y'all dealing with each other it doesn't take nothing to acknowledge the the banner she did for you or to acknowledge you know what she did like hey you know also i want to say give a shout out to carisha thank you for the banner boo it, it, it all, that's all it would have took like but people were making excuses for his behavior. And I'm like, y'all, y'all, y'all literally get played all day. Yeah, y'all get played all day. And y'all put a price tag on y'all vaginas. Y'all don't know about no real y'all don't know what real love is. Y'all are lost. It was so sad to see. Like, I was like, damn. It's and it's females. It's females. So sad. Like y'all are so sad. I feel so bad for y'all. I was like, wow, y'all really making excuses for this man embarrassing the fuck out of her. Like, are you kidding me? After the BT Awards. Or whatever the case may be. Everything. Well, what happened after that? Um. Everything went quiet. She went and did um wireless. Oh no, wireless. Okay, wireless. That's this is another. This is another thing. I'm doing my research on Jesse May. No, Jesse May came out. She was on a yacht with his friends. Carisha has never. Diddy has never bought Carisha around his friends. Diddy knew that on his yacht, people would basically see them together. People would basically know. He knew that people would basically know that he's dealing with this girl, possibly. And, um, you know, so he brought her out in public in front of all his rich friends, knowing that, you know, paparazzi might catch it. Excuse me, that paparazzi might catch it. Um... <clears throat> Joy Bow Wow's baby mama, she was on a yacht with him. And um, you know, pap paparazzi caught that. Then um, you know, um, what is it? Uh Jesse May, she got caught on the yacht with him, but Carisha never ever got caught. He always hid Carisha. Very, very bad. Real bad. It was a picture that Carisha had posted of her and Diddy. But you could not see his face. It was a picture that someone had taken, like and it didn't look like it was paparazzi. It was probably a friend or a family member or somebody. Um, because if, if, if the picture, for example, was like from a paparazzi, it would have been everywhere. Carisha had to post that on her Instagram. And it was the back of Diddy's head. So this was clearly her on vacation with her friends, how she normally goes. And basically she was with him and, you know, pictures were taken, you know, or somebody that she knows took the picture, an a, a assistant and a, and a somebody but it wasn't paparazzi because it would have been everywhere just how jesse may hit everywhere just how jo joy um joy went viral and basically was like um caught with diddy kissing literally then you know it would have went like that but it never happened for carisha carisha had to post that on instagram herself so somebody intimately took those photos and she always basically was the one claiming him but did he never did he always made sure to keep carisha out of the camera did he never when he would pull up to places like his lifetime achievement award bt the bt stadium like he pulled up in his in his white luxury car carisha pulled up behind him in his suburban um uh in a suburban separate was that the billboard awards or was that the um was that the bet awards or was that the billboard awards i think what your event was that i think that was the billboard awards that it was the billboard awards that he was hosting and 
he pulled up in his white all white car and she pulled up in a suburban behind him separate he kept it separate just like that you his new boo and she couldn't even sit next to him and okay you're not sitting next to him also, another way he played in her face was that he put Gina front row. Gina is one of is the Diddy's uh long term chick that he was dating with Cassie. She's been around for like eight years or something like that, and she was the one that was brave enough to come out and talk about the abuse, the mental, emotional, physical abuse she suffered from Diddy. Young Miami was dealing with started dealing with emotional abuse from Diddy from day one because how you at the Billboard Awards and you're presenting and she was presenting, she basically was at the Billboard Awards and did and she's dealing with Diddy and sleeping with this man, but Diddy got Gina to the Billboard Awards and had her front row. That's why that day when Gina posted Diddy, it was because her baby daddy, the person that got, got her pregnant twice, put her front row at Billboard. Gina is a nobody, What they is what they say, but that nobody made it front row at the Billboard Awards. How did she get there? Diddy. So once again, Diddy disrespected Carisha and had a whole nother girl in the same building as her. He's present, she, uh, She's presenting an award. He's hosting and he puts... Gina front row and young Miami, his fling is there as well. So he got two women he playing, he played Monopoly where he playing games where he's playing chess. Basically, he's playing. Diddy's playing chess. Young Miami's playing checkers or whatever the case may be. So he disrespected her in so many ways. Going back to the whole claiming situation. All the out of all the girls, Carisha is the one that was treated the worst. And I don't and even if she got a show, let me tell you why. Never, ever. She was always seen on Revolt TV and on the show as his friend. And he never, ever, ever claimed her like, oh, that's my boo. And he would always say, I'm single. Paparazzi could never, ever catch them together. I have pictures of Gina and Diddy walking out together. And Paparazzi um, would catch them out. And he basically was out with her one-on-one. -on -one and they were together. You got pictures of Joy and Paparazzi caught them together kissing. You, you got pictures of Jessie Mae. She brought, he brought her out on the yacht um with all his friends and they were together he he knew going out with these women publicly he would be caught by paparazzi but he didn't care all the girls that he's been caught with is his type gina asian jesse may asian joy she likes skin black girl kim porter if you dark skin you're gonna have some type of you, have, you gotta have some type of class you gotta be that classy girl you cannot be a city girl you gotta be a real classy elegant woman in order for diddy to be out to be seen out with you so kim porter that was his girlfriend cassie asian all the girls that is his type and who he likes which is the classy foreign you know uh don't talk a lot you know stays in her place you know educated you know um just a a, a good girl a, a classy girl that's his type you know um foreign once again emphasis on that those are the kind of girls that he would basically have no problem being seen with he bought that jesse man girl around all his rich friends he never bought carisha around his friends and nobody ever was and the way what i mean is if he did he made sure it was a secret he never ever allowed himself to be caught publicly pictured with carisha that's what i'm saying if he for example took a picture it was basically because she posted the picture on instagram or um, if he, for example, was forced by her or whatever the case may be. No, it wasn't even that because he was promoting Revolt TV at the time. He was doing Revolt TV. He posted a picture of her and of, of uh, him and Carisha um, because the Revolt TV thing was happening. It was a picture of him and Carisha. But it wasn't even it wasn't even him and Carisha. It was him on the couch and Carisha was sitting way was like like way in the camera and he was on the couch. It was like distant, like two friends or two strangers or something like that. And he posted it, of course, because she pressured him, of course. And um, also uh, that was around the time. I don't know. I think that was also around the time when. When when was this? Um, it was Revolt. It was around that time when she was first coming out with Revolt. I think it was it was a black. I think it was a, it was P's birthday party. It was her boss's birthday party, and she was at the birthday party, and Diddy was at the birthday party as it was at his birthday party as well, and it wasn't Revolt. It was basically him posting her, and um, he posted. 
other people as well. And that was clear pressure, like clear pressure from her. But it wasn't a picture like, oh, um, I'm bringing her out in public. I know I might be caught by paparazzi. So, you know, I don't I don't mind being seen like it was a very, very, very. It was like a, a picture that you can post if you don't want to be seen with somebody or if you don't want people to think that y'all together. The picture that he took with her, with, with him just sitting on the couch and her, she he was sitting on the top of the couch and she was sitting on the couch and it was like she was turning with her wine glass and they were smiling. That could be interpreted as anything. You could be you could be, you could be taking a picture with just a city girl. You can be taking a picture with your friends. He posted a lot of people that day. You can be taking a picture with... um your friend with that type of pose like it wasn't a romantic type of oh i'm with this girl and clearly she made him do that and so he never ever ever claimed her or never even allowed himself to be seen with her publicly on that level ever if she posted anything it would be her um taking a photo photo of, or somebody else taking it if he posted her he would never ever really did he never it would be like on some friendship type vibes like it was nothing that was like romantic nothing that would say okay confirmation that's his like little boo like that's his little boo not even oh they together but that's his little boo like never and i could show you i'm gonna show you several pictures of what i'm talking about because this is gonna go above people's heads they're gonna i had a dummy in my comments oh um you know oh going to wireless okay so like i said he ain't never claimed her like he claimed the other ones because he don't he don't claim nobody but the other ones he lets himself be publicly seen with these people that's what I'm saying. And publicly, he always used to be separate with Carisha, always going out of hotels after her, always pull, pulling up in separate cars. Carisha never got that type of play where, you know, publicly they would be seen out together. Like, and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Um, wireless. This is the biggest thing. Carisha's performing at Wireless in London. All the celebrities were in London for Wireless. He's performing. Um, she was performing there. Do you know who she jetted? Do you know who he jetted to wireless? Who he had in his jet to, to as a date for wireless? Do you know that Carisha's performing in London? And do you know that how he came to London was in a jet? But with who? Jesse May. Jesse May was on the jet. They were going to London. They landed. They made it to London. Diddy made a video and you could see Jesse May coming out the jet and it was in London. So he came to wireless. He came to London with his new girl, with his new piece. And basically that's after, um, you know, Diddy was at, Diddy had Jesse May at his house and, you know, it, it, it slipped up. Um, the, the camera fell and, you know, she was able to like, you know, they were people were able to see her and she she was running or whatever the case may be from the camera. Um that was after that came out. So she he was she was on a yacht with him. He was perfectly well aware paparazzi would catch this, but he don't mind because this is his type. She's foreign. He don't mind being seen with her. You know, he's a ladies' man. So yes, you can capture her. I'm with a baddie. I'm with a beauty I'm 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 with a beautiful girl. I'm with another Cassie, another Gina. Then he goes to London wireless he jets her in. He basically comes to Carisha's event with a whole nother girl on a jet to her event, to London. How disrespectful could you be? Then the dummy was like, oh, he was with Carisha in London. I said, sweetheart, you must get played all day, every day. There is no way I'm going to be at wireless performing as an artist. And the dude that I'm sleeping with every night, the dude I'm with every freaking night, the dude I'm with, he's going to come to London to my event to an event I'm performing at and he comes in on a jet with another woman and you never see Carisha at Diddy's house ever Jesse May has been at his house Gina has lived with this man Cassie has lived with this man Kim Porter has lived with this man Jesse May is basically at the estate never have you ever seen Carisha at the estate that slip up showed you okay like she's in the house Carisha has never ever been there other than like when he would have parties at his house like the new year's party you know what i'm saying like um when he had his parties and he had joy bow wow baby, baby mama and you know she was there too that's the only time you would see her at the estate it was never he always treated Carisha like she was the lesser one because she's not his type 
a city girl, that's not his type. He was he's using her. Y'all like that ghetto, you know, old city girl, whatever. It doesn't make you less of a person, but to Diddy, it it, it does. That's why Joy Bow Wow's baby mother, he threw her a whole birthday party. He threw her a whole birthday party after he got caught being kissed by her. Um, I'm sorry, after they got caught kissing, he threw her a birthday party. Everybody knew that Joy and Bow Wow Baby Mama was dealing with each other. Why? Because Diddy made it very obvious that he was dealing with her because he threw her a birthday party. Has he ever done that for Carisha? No. Gina lived with him, woke up with him, did an interview with Tasha K. Been seen out with him in public. Whole, you know, um, what is it? Um, paparazzi caught them out together. Everyone knew about her. The world knew about Gina. Oh, that's Diddy's piece uh, or whatever the case may be. Everybody know about her. Cassie, that was his public girlfriend. Kim Porter, that was his public girl, um, public girlfriend and the mother of his twins. Um, but Carisha, Carisha was always put on the back burner. Never ever seen out genuinely walking in public with Diddy. He always makes sure they're separate. Um, never ever seen at his house unless it's like a party where everybody at the house. Never ever, um, Gina, you know, these girlfriends that he's had, real girlfriends that slept with him, been in his house, been around his kids. Carisha never ever saw that, like, you know, being able to be his girlfriend and, you know, being around the kids, being in the house, et cetera, et cetera. Like she never got that treatment and people swore because she's a city girl that she was the superior girl but i'm explaining to you i'm running down what made her the lesser girl and it's sad it's like y'all really thought that her being a city girl was gonna bag diddy and was gonna lock him down and i think she thought that too but he treated her the worst and the the least out of all of them and people who don't know and who don't understand it's gonna go of it over their head but women who understand they will know, yeah, he has a type and he lets himself be seen with his type, but he does not, but he hides very well with females that he does not consider worthy of being seen out with like that. He And if he's seen with them, he's seen in a friendship kind of way. They're, they're seen very, very, you know, um, platonic. He makes sure the picture is very, very platonic. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to show you some examples and... So people can understand what I mean, you know, because I'm talking a lot, but it's like I could say it better than I can. I can show you better than I can better than I can tell you. But um, I'll be right back.